our special guest will be hooked up to a lie detector and tell four spectacular stories. You will have to use your social intelligence to determine which stories are true and which are false. The lie detector will reveal who has the most correct assumptions and who takes the challenge. Here to help with human lie detector is one of the greatest humans I know. He's Juno Award winning international recording artist and producer, Sir Cardinal Official. So what is the one thing rappers lie about the most? It's like we spend most of our time lying. So all those things you see in the videos and the movies and online, 95% of it is a pile of crap. Lie detector lady, was that the truth or was it a lie? It was the truth! So you don't have hot women dancing on Ferraris in your front driveway? That's the 5% that's true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, should we do this? Let's do it! Okay, for all of you at home, this is a CSP Smart Play Challenge, so head to our Facebook page to play along now. Mm. All right, Cardi is gonna tell us some surprising stories from his career yes. and his personal life. It's your job to determine if they're truths or if they're cold, hard lies. Cardi, your first story involves a hot date and a wild animal. I had a date at 10 a.m., but we were in Montreal the night before doing a show. So the only way that I was gonna make it is if we drove overnight so that we could get back to Toronto on time. As we were on the highway and came around this bend, bang! And the airbags deployed. By the time the ambulance came, uh, we found out that I had hit a bear. That's pretty crazy, right? Now, after each of Cardinal's stories, one of you will be allowed to ask a single question to help you determine its validity. Donna, you have the first question. What did you think you'd hit? <laughs> when you hit a bear, it doesn't do its regular roar. The way that it sounded, it sounded like the Loch Ness Monster because it says, <laughs> This is the thing with Donna. Your powers could really come in handy here. Are you performing a psychic reading on Cardi as he's telling his story? She has You didn't tell me I was going up against the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, it is decision time, you four. Was that story true? Was it false? Lock in your answer. Let's move right along. Your jet setting lifestyle can get pretty hectic sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. There was this one time that we were in Paris. We had a show and I got a phone call that said, would you be on The Real World? And I said, sure, but they're like, it's in Mexico. The only thing is that we had to be back in Paris three days later. When we got to New York, I'm like, we have a three hour layover? Let's take a car and go shopping. So I literally went shopping, got back in time, went to Mexico, did the concert, got drunk, peed in the ocean, made it back for my 9 a.m. flight, and ended up making it back to Paris within the three days. Round of applause for that story and your lifestyle. <laughs> uh, Chris, you can ask him anything to help you determine if that story was true or false, so let's hear your question. Can you tell me what airport you flew out of in Paris and London? Um, in London, it was um, Heathrow, it wasn't Gatwick. Um, Paris, not sure. Was that story true or was it false? Okay. We want to hear a little juicy behind the scenes story, right guys? Okay, let's get one. So I got a call one day in studio and it says, Cardi, I need you to do a show with this girl that I discovered. Her name is Robin Fente. I said, listen, here's the thing. I'll do the show with you, but Robin Fente cannot be her name. Robin Fente doesn't sound like a star name to me. What was amazing is that for that show, that's when they decided to go with Robin's middle name, which was Rihanna. And ever since then, she's been known as Rihanna. Josh, your turn. What would you like to know? What was the name of the venue that you and Robin Fente performed at? Oh, it was down by, um, in New York, by the piers, right along the West Side Highway in New York. Okay, once again, was Mr. Official telling the truth or was it a lie? Lock in those answers. Last but not least, you need to tell us about the time you performed in Dubai. So we got this request to do um, a show at 
this Sheikh's palace. We went and it was crazy. The palace was amazing. The only thing is that I need to have a very specific temperature of water or else it can mess up my throat. They didn't have the temperature of water that I needed. Obviously, the Sheikh is like, I flew you all the way here. Screw your water. I didn't end up going on until about like one or two o'clock in the morning when they finally got my water. And what was crazier was the show was only for him and his 14 family members. Jen, ask Cardi anything about that story. Were you able to bring him back, the family back around to your side? Did they appreciate the performance? Were they your pals by the time you left? The thing was like, because I had brought my family there, his family was there, like it ended up being like more of a, a fun night. Like we have pictures that we framed that are at the house. Yeah. Was Cardinal telling the truth or was it a dirty, dirty lie? Lock in those answers. All right, are you ready to find out who here has the strongest social intelligence? In the first story, we found out that Cardi had an unfortunate encounter with a bear. So did you think it was true or false? Split right down the middle. Jen, why did you think that story was true? Uh, there were a lot of details in that story and just the whole like comparing the bear to the Loch Ness Monster. I was like, he's really thought about this. So either it's just a really <laughs> good lie. I'm hoping it's a real story. Though. Scary lie detector operator. Was it the truth? Was it a lie? It was. Oh, yeah. Got it. Jen and Josh got that right. Donna, our medium, did not. The second story gave us a glimpse into your jet-setting superstar lifestyle. Did you think it was true? Did you think it was false? Chris, why did you think that was false? The airport situation. I'm an air traffic controller, and there's certain airports you fly out of all the time, and that's what I ran off of, so. Lie detector, was it true? Was it false? It was true! Sorry, Chris, but Josh, you're two for two. Impressive. Why didn't you know the airport code? Because if you know anything about celebrities, we don't care about that. <laughs> In your third story, you're responsible for naming the woman known only as Rihanna. What did you think? Once again, Jen and Josh, you thought it was true. Why, Josh? I feel like he was trying to throw me off a little bit with his response, so I believed the story. Okay, will Josh go three for three? Was it true? Was it false? It was false! <laughs> Do you know Rihanna? Was the whole thing a lie? The whole thing was a lie. When I was introduced to her, her name was already Rihanna. Okay, so Donna is tied with Josh, heading into our final question. The last story involved performing in front of a shake. Did you think it was the truth or did you think it was a lie? Take a look. Oh, Donna, why did you think that was false? Um, I thought parts of it were true, but you never know. It does had a feel to it. For the last time, the lie detector says that story was... It was yeah. false! <laughs> Donna and Josh, great job. Both got three out of four. So we have a tie. And as per the official Canada Smartest Person rule book, we turn to you to break the deadlock by telling us who you thought had the most difficult question for you to answer. Josh wanted to know what venue you and Rihanna performed at. Mm -hmm. Donna wanted to know what you thought you hit in your car that dark evening driving from Montreal. The question that was going to either make me stumble or just catch me one way or the other. Right. Belong to Josh. Wow, Josh! Amazing, Josh, so there you go! Josh takes the challenge. Amazing job. You had five points. Thank you so much to my man, Cardi, for spreading lies and deception. Cardi now is Michelle, everybody! Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. Click the button below to subscribe for more of your favorite CBC content.